Welcome back. I just received news from Hollandaren. Uh, he sent me some pictures and the last casting, the second of the two castings I uh, sent him, is a success. The boar is uh, perfect, the porch came out as they should and if there's no surprises, I don't think so, then that's a keeper. Hooray! I just want to thank everyone who has been donating and all my new patrons and I'm just overwhelmed by the support. Thanks to you guys, I've ordered the stuff I need, uh, the plating equipment, the chemicals, the silicon carbide and boron nitride. I think I'm going to try boron nitride because boron nitride should work better for uh, low friction, not as good as silicon carbide for uh, longevity. But I don't care about that, I want maximum power and least amount of friction, so uh, boron nitride. It will be done in the same way as uh, nickel silicon carbide, nickel seal, which is with a powder of very tiny particles, about between 1 and 5 micron particles, suspended in the electrolytes while I'm plating. So it will be co-deposited with the nickel onto the surface and then the piston ring will wear off the nickel and expose the particles and create a sliding surface. That's the that's the idea. It's one hell of a mess here. I have just shoved everything aside while I've been working on the casting uh, setup and, and the castings. So, uh, and now I will have to set up this plating, um, plating uh, station, so I will have to clean up the place. I'll bring you back when I've cleaned up as much as I can bother to do today, and I'll uh, show you a bit about my uh, plating setup. Okay, I've barely cleaned up the place here, I basically just moved stuff around, but uh, uh, here's the makeshift setup. Of course there won't be a sofa here, I will build a bench and probably kind of a hut with a fume extractor, a fume hood around the thing. We'll see how bad the fuming gets. There's six containers, six steps. First one is an alkaline cleaner. Now of course the, the casting will be cleaned as thorough as possible before it enters this cleaner. But that's the final cleaning and slight etching. Then there's uh, distilled water for uh, rinsing off the alkaline cleaner. Then there's the syncate solution. Now syncate or syncating is, uh, is done to remove the aluminium oxide and replace it with zinc to keep the aluminium from oxidizing before it's put into the plating bath. And that's because the plating won't stick to aluminium oxide. Aluminium oxide is really unreactive compared to aluminium, which is really reactive. The syncating will be done by honing, honing in the syncate bath, that's kind of unconventional. I'll tell you more about that uh, when, when we're ready. Distilled water, electroplating or electroless plating, distilled water. So that's the six steps. As I said earlier, uh, all the chemicals, all the stuff I need, all the safety equipment, everything is on its way. Just a matter of time and we'll be plating cylinders, attempting to plate cylinders. Okay, that's it for now. Just a short one and not a lot of doing, just a lot of talking. But anyways, it won't be long until the next video and then we'll start experimenting with plating cylinders, which will be a lot of fun. Now. Many people have asked me why am I doing this? Why am I not sending out the cylinder to get it plated? It's not that expensive and it isn't that expensive, but um, There's a couple of reasons. The first reason is My main goal isn't making this one cylinder. My main goal is to get a proper prototyping facility up and uh, running and be able to produce cylinders from start to end and uh, test them and um, in that way I can make or test, try out uh, stupid ideas uh, kind of fast and uh, it will be a lot of fun and entertaining for me and for you to watch. So that's the first reason. The second reason and maybe more important reason is that sending a cylinder out for plating isn't really something you will remember. But plating it yourself, that's something you will remember. 
and I would really like to uh, sit there when I get really old and I like to say to myself that now the end is near and so I face the final curtain my friend I'll say it clear I'll state my cake cake found what went <clears throat> clear I'll state my case of which I'm certain I've lived a life that's full I've traveled each and every highway but more, much more than this, I did my way. <laughs> Thanks for watching.